Hello, Dallas Cowboys fans. Today, we have a truly exciting update about one of the key pillars of our defense, Trayvon Diggs. As you might remember, last year we faced a major disappointment when our standout cornerback suffered a serious knee injury during practice, sidelining him for the rest of the season after playing only two games. To put this in perspective, Diggs had been selected to the Pro Bowl in the previous two seasons, proving himself to be one of the top cornerbacks in the NFL. Now, the good news, Trayvon Diggs is making an impressive recovery. Recently, he shared a video on his Instagram account showing his progress. In the video, we see Diggs moving with great agility and making cuts and direction changes that are crucial for his on-field performance. This is particularly encouraging because it gives us a clear idea that Diggs is on track to return to his pre-injury level of play and is ready to be a key factor in our defense when games start in September. It's worth noting that, Although Diggs was absent last year, our defense had a very positive surprise in the form of Darren Bland. Bland stepped up and proved to be a real revelation by leading the NFL with nine interceptions last season. His performance was so impressive that he was named a first-team All-Pro, highlighting the quality and impact he had on the Cowboys' secondary in Diggs' absence. However, despite the standout performances from both players, neither Trayvon Diggs nor Darren Bland made it into the top 10 cornerbacks in the NFL, according to a recent ESPN poll. In this survey, executives, coaches, and scouts from the league were asked to determine the top players at this position heading into the 2024 season. The absence of Diggs and Bland from this list could be seen as an opportunity for both players to further prove their quality and earn a spot among the best in the league. This news undoubtedly adds an extra layer of motivation for the team, which is more determined than ever to make a Super Bowl run. The combination of Diggs' return and Bland's solid performance could be key to a dominant secondary and a defense that will become one of the pillars of our success this season. We want to hear your opinion. How do you feel about Trayvon Diggs' return? Do you think Darren Bland will continue his rise as one of the best cornerbacks in the league? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to stay updated with all the news and updates on your Dallas Cowboys. See you in the next video. The 2024 season is rapidly approaching, and as teams prepare for the start of the new campaign, debates have ignited over the quality of the Cowboys' running backs. According to Mike Clay, ESPN analyst, Dallas could face one of its biggest weaknesses this season, the running back unit. In his recent ranking, Clay has placed the Cowboys at the bottom of the list of the 32 NFL running back units. This is a notable change from previous years, when Dallas was known for investing large sums of money into the running back position. Over the past decade, the Cowboys have been known for paying generous contracts to their star running backs. However, the current situation is very different. The running back roster for the 2024 season seems less impressive and less feared than in the past. Let's break down the situation. Currently, the Cowboys running back roster includes Ezekiel Elliott, Rico Dowdle, Deuce Vaughn, and Royce Freeman. Additionally, Snoop Connor, Malik Davis, and undrafted rookie Nathaniel Pete are competing for the available spots on the team. However, this lineup does not appear to be the strongest on paper, especially when compared to other teams' running back units. Ezekiel Elliott, once one of the brightest stars in the NFL, has not managed to regain his star form. Elliott was a dominant force in the league between 2016 and 2018, leading the NFL in rushing yards per game for three consecutive years. His performance during those years made him a highly valued running back. However, in 2022, his rushing production with the Cowboys dropped to 876 yards and 12 touchdowns, a decline from his peak performance. Last year, playing with the New England Patriots, his numbers fell even further, registering only 642 yards and 3 touchdowns. In addition to Elliott's decreased performance, the Cowboys' offensive line has also lost some of its strength compared to previous years. During Elliott's golden years, the offensive line was one of the best in the league, providing the support needed for him to be the star running back he was. Now, the situation is different, and the lack of such a formidable offensive line could further impact the effectiveness of Dallas running backs. 
In this context, it is important to note that the Cowboys have more urgent positional needs, such as a number two wide receiver, WR2, and an interior defensive lineman, IDL. However, the running back position remains crucial and could be an area Dallas should consider strengthening before the regular season starts in September. Among the top free agents available in the market are names like Cam Akers, Matt Breda, and Damian Harris, who could be interesting options to bolster the running back unit. So the question now is, what do you think, Cowboys fans? Do you believe Dallas should make a move in the free agent market to improve their running back unit before the start of the season? We'd love to hear your opinion. Brandon Ayuk, the talented receiver for the San Francisco 49ers, has officially requested a trade. Could the Cowboys be in the running to acquire this impressive player? To understand the magnitude of this move, we first need to analyze the current situation. The 49ers, who have been a competitive team in recent seasons, are facing a significant dilemma. After months of constant rumors and failed contract negotiations, their star, Brandon Ayuk, has asked to be traded to another team. This request has caused a stir in the league and opened the door to a potential bidding war among several teams looking for a young and talented receiver. Among the teams that have shown interest in Ayuk are the New England Patriots and the Washington Commanders. Since the NFL draft, rumors have circulated that these teams are willing to do whatever it takes to acquire a star receiver who can assist their rookie quarterbacks in the 2024 season. Remember the trade the Philadelphia Eagles made for A.J. Brown to support Jalen Hurts, or the Buffalo Bills moved to acquire Stephon Diggs to help Josh Allen? A similar move might be just what Ayuk needs to showcase his talent in a new environment. Now, let's dive into the question we're all asking. Could the Dallas Cowboys get involved in this race for Brandon Ayuk? The quick answer is that, theoretically, it might be unlikely. Currently, the Cowboys are dealing with serious issues negotiating the contract of their own star receiver, C.D. Lamb. The situation is further complicated by the fact that the team already decided to trade Amari Cooper a few years ago, indicating that they are not willing to invest large sums of money in more than one top-tier receiver. Additionally, the Cowboys are facing a massive free agency in 2025, which includes key players like Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, Zach Martin, Demarcus Lawrence, Brandon Cooks, O.S.A. Odegizawa, and Trey Lance. The possibility of making a trade for Brandon Ayuk would further complicate the team's financial planning for the upcoming offseason. Such a move would require a significant financial commitment, potentially jeopardizing the team's ability to retain key players in the future. Although the idea of acquiring Ayuk might seem appealing, especially considering the positive impact a star receiver could have on the team's offensive performance, the trade might only be a short-term rental. The Cowboys might be tempted to make this all-or-nothing move if they believe they need an extra boost in crucial games to secure a playoff spot or advance in the postseason. Imagine for a moment how the team would look with Brandon Ayuk on board. The combination of Ayuk and C.D. Lamb could form one of the best receiving duos in the league. With a formidable offensive line and Dak Prescott at the helm, the Cowboys would have an explosive offense that could challenge any defense. This type of move could also serve as a test to determine if Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott are the right leaders to take the Cowboys to the Super Bowl. If they fail to win the title, the team might seriously consider a rebuild in the near future. So, what do you think, Cowboys fans? Do you believe it would be a good idea to take a risk and trade for Brandon Ayuk? Or do you think the team should focus on keeping their current core and planning for the long term? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any important news. See you in the next video, and keep supporting the Dallas Cowboys.